Hi, I'm Jane Payton. I'm a beer sommelier and I'm going to give you a couple of recipes from celebrity chefs that will match really well with Party 7. Party 7 is a pale ale, it's flavoursome, it's bitter and it's dominated by hops. The hops are citrusy in nature. They give a gorgeous orange, tangerine and grapefruit characteristic to the beer. Now beer matches all food, no matter what the cuisine or the occasion, casual dining, fine dining. So today we're going to do some finer dining. Still easy to make though. Now I would suggest drinking your party seven out of a wine glass or a brandy balloon when you're eating this food. The reason for this is because it's a very aromatic beer and the shape of the glass that I've suggested will help those aromas to develop in the glass and then hit your nose when you take a little mouthful. Now why is the aroma so important? It's because the brain registers flavour, up to 80% of flavour is registered through the nose. So it's really important that we smell our food and drink before we eat it. Now, what recipes are we going to have? From Nigella, we're going to have salmon kedgeri with lime and coriander. Now, this kedgeri has salmon rather than smoked haddock. And it's got more of a Thai food characteristics because of the herbs and the spices that she's used. She's also used lime, which is going to be really good as a complement to those hops in our party seven. It's really straightforward to make and it will take you about 35 minutes, during which time you can be enjoying a glass of party seven. While you look at another recipe, you can be drinking your party seven. The other recipe is by Nigel Slater and this one is chicken casserole. Moroccan chicken casserole. So it's got a spiciness to it, just a gentle spiciness. It's also got some lemon in it. So our lemon is going to, again, pick up those hops in the beer. This recipe is also easy to make and will go really well with your party seven. So enjoy your dinner party and cheers.